Welcome to another episode of something super specific that's happened to you but no one ever talks about and you're finally feeling seen and heard. I'm here for you. I'm here with you. Why don't you sit down? Stay a while. Subscribe. This is a video essay. Tell me if this has ever happened to you. You have this playlist of all your favorite little songs on Spotify, and to get a different listening experience every time you're in the shower, you hit that nice shuffle button. After a while though, maybe a week, a month, a year if you're really clueless, you start to notice your playlist feeding you the same 15 songs every time you hit shuffle, and you never hear the other 396 songs that you've added to your playlist. So you might be like me and after noticing this, you take to the internet to search the problem. Maybe after a few un answered forum questions on Spotify's dry ass forum board, you add Reddit to your search to find a bit more discussion upon the chronically online, but nothing with a full answer. Or you get an answer as vague as, it's an algorithm, so it's never truly on shuffle. So it's like, that doesn't make me feel any better. It doesn't just happen to playlists though. If you've ever hit shuffle on an artist page, you might notice that it only plays all their new stuff that you don't really care about, and never the old stuff that you were secretly hoping Hoping for. Or at least a nice mix of both. Is that too much to ask? No offense, but I shuffled Blink-182's artist page to hear online songs for the hundredth time. Not California for the 30th time. Against my will. So what's going on here? I will not sit here and accept the answer that it's just an algorithm or whatever. I'm a big numbers guy. <laughs> A big numbers guy over here. I'm the type of person that wants really detailed information on things. That's why you clicked on this f***ing video essay after all, isn't it? I do this with Minecraft, music, whatever. I need a detailed explanation. Just chalking this bad experience down to the algorithm is not enough for me. I'm the type of person that always asks, yeah, but how? Or why? Like, why is this ripped TikToker pouring milk all over himself while lip syncing Daisy by Ash Nico? So is Spotify's shuffle feature broken? Is it not working correctly? Is it an algorithm? Is it just my imagination that the Spotify playlist I hit shuffle on just keeps feeding me the same 10 songs every time? And all my other songs I added get buried at the end of the playlist? What's going on? So you can bet your ass that I did. Research. The short answer is that our intuition is correct. Spotify's shuffle option is not actually a random shuffle. We can all go to bed, rest easy. We did it, folks. We solved the most compelling mystery of the 21st century. But rather, Spotify's shuffle option like a weather lady, uses an algorithm. 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 But there's more to it than that, which I found to be very interesting, because it's actually a more in-depth look at our brain's perception of random, psychology, and math. I know not everyone enjoys math, so I'll explain it to you like you're five, and I promise it will be interesting. It's not random. The truth is, we don't actually want a truly randomly shuffled playlist. Why? Because true random actually looks like this. If I had a playlist with 10 songs, true random would mean that every song on this playlist has an equal chance of coming up next. Well, if our playlist of 10 songs has five Taylor Swift songs, just pretend I'm holding up five fingers, and five other random songs from random artists, true random would mean that I still have a chance of getting four Taylor Swift songs in a row. That is truly random, but to us, putting a playlist on shuffle and getting the same artist four times in a row does not seem random to us, even though in the code, it is. Which is funny because Spotify's shuffle algorithm actually started out like this, as true random. But people started complaining because they were getting clusters of the same artists every time in a row, so Spotify ended up changing their shuffle code from truly random to an algorithm-based thing that we know today. But then that same algorithm makes another group of people complain that they're getting the same 10 songs every time they shuffle their playlist, also making it not feel truly random. And before I get you dorks in the comments who majored in computer science, there are multiple types of random shuffling and there are nerdy ass arguments about if true random by a computer truly exists. Spotify uses Fisher Yates shuffle. Okay, now leave me alone. I took two Java classes in college. So here's my playlist called 
game plus anime sleepy time with 123 songs on it and I forced it to reshuffle 20 different times. When you shuffle a Spotify playlist, it doesn't choose a song at random every time you hit next. What it does is when you do hit that shuffle button, Spotify creates a randomly shuffled queue one time. So I looked at that queue every time I hit shuffle to see what songs came up the most. The Angel Beats theme song played in the top 10 songs seven out of the 20 times I shuffled this goddamn playlist. One of the 100 plus songs came up in the first 10 songs on the queue seven out of the 20 times I shuffled it. That's not random. I guess technically it could be, but you know, it doesn't seem like it because Dire Dire Docks also came up five times in the first 10 songs. Twin Leaf Town came up five times and several other songs came up two or more times in the top first 10 songs that will play out of the 20 times I shuffled it. And this playlist is 123 songs long. Songs like Sweden from Minecraft didn't even make it in the top 10, even once. And why is this a big deal? Well, because for a playlist that's 100 plus songs long, having your shuffled queue front loaded with the same songs every time will annoy the crap out of you and all your other songs get buried in the queue and you'll in turn hear those songs songs rarely ever unless you finish the playlist queue in full every single time you listen to it. Some other pissed off Spotify customer also spent way too much of their free time running an experiment like this just to prove that Spotify's shuffling was not truly random. They took a little bit of a different approach though. This person created a playlist of 99 songs, but a bitch ain't one. Then they added one very obscure, not popular song to this playlist to complete a 100 song playlist. They then force shuffled this playlist 50 times. Their unpopular 100th track was never listed higher than 77th in the shuffled queue. They suggested that Spotify's algorithm only prioritizes popular songs in the playlist and puts less popular songs towards the end or bottom of the queue. I believe it, but this angry experiment is also over five years old. Yes, 2017 was five years ago. This is Miranda Cosgrove now. Feel old yet? Probably fuck. I'm not a mathematician, but my AP Calc teacher said that I should have become one. Look at me now, Anne, I'm thriving. So I'm no mathematician, I didn't get my degree in logistical math, but I'm willing to say that this is not a random selection of songs based on our observed experiments. But is it really based on popularity or is it like a personalized algorithm like YouTube trying to guess what you like and want? Because Sweden by C418 is an extremely popular track and I would fully expect it to outperform most of the songs on my sleepy Goo Goo Gaga playlist. So what if we took a playlist of only only popular songs. And what if that playlist was only 50 tracks long this time? What happens now? Well, I took the hot Spotify playlist, Hot Hits USA, a playlist with 50 songs on it, and forced it to reshuffle 10 times. Shuffling 50 songs 10 different times should be more than enough to see all 50 songs show up in the top 10. Like just by pure chance and statistics probably. I was an AP calculus, not AP stats, okay? Please feel free to well actually me in this in the comments about stats and I'll be sure not to read them, okay? Dorks. So upon shuffling Hot Hits USA 10 times, Glimpse of Us by Joji was in the top eight songs four of the 10 times that I shuffled this playlist. Stay by Justin Bieber and the Kid Leroy was also featured in the top eight songs four out of the 10 times. And in all 10 times I reshuffled this playlist, only 43 of the 50 songs showed up in the top eight. Granted, this still could have been by pure chance and nothing else. And also the playlist is only 50 songs long, leaving way more room for all 50 songs to make it in the top eight at some point or another. The algorithm could also just know that I love Joji, but I guess we'll never know. Or will we?
So we've established based on observation that Spotify's shuffle is definitely not truly random, and that it's an algorithm controlling every aspect of our waking consumeristic lives. The algorithm brought you this video, after all. The algorithm brought you a song you really like. Robots are controlling our lives. So how does the Spotify algorithm actually work? Oh, my arm hurts. Uh... There are a few different game theories on how it works. We saw our angry friend from before claim it was based on the popularities of the songs. Another person claimed that they noticed that Spotify would front load <laughs> Another person claimed that they noticed that Spotify would front load their cues with songs that also showed up on their on repeat playlist. I am not judging this person's music taste. So is it based on the overall popularity of a track? Is it based on how popular the track is with you? If it was based on how many times you listen to the track, this is what would happen. The playlist front loads the same songs every time. So I'll inadvertently have listened to Twin Leaf Town so many times that it shows up on my Spotify rap making it even more popular with me. Then Spotify thinks I really, really like this song. So it shows me the song even more times. So I don't know. They won't tell us if the popularity of a track has anything to do with it. But what I did learn about the algorithm surprised me and calmed me down. There's this 2014 article from a Spotify engineer on Spotify's engineering blog website that outlines exactly how Spotify's shuffle algorithm works. Although, keep in mind that this algorithm probably has been tweaked, altered, and improved upon since this article was written. That's right, 2014 was 13 years ago. This is Miranda Cosgrove now. Feel old yet? Since Spotify got so many complaints about their shuffling, that was true random, because they were getting the same clusters of artists playing back to back, they changed it to an algorithm. When you hit shuffle, that algorithm takes all the songs in your playlist and spreads out songs from the same artist. Then it takes all the songs and orders them in a queue by position. It doesn't perfectly even out songs by the same artist on purpose to keep the placement still feeling a bit more random. So the spacing in between songs by the same artists will typically be between 20 and 30 percent of the length of the playlist. Finally, Spotify shuffles the songs by the same artists among each other, among us, to prevent songs from the same albums playing too close to each other. And that's how Spotify shuffles our playlists, according to them. I'm willing to bet that this algorithm has changed a bit since this information was published, but I couldn't find a reliable source for it, because it does seem to be a bit more alg- alg- more rig- Fuck it. Algorithmically. 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 Because it does seem to be a bit more algorithmically heavy these days. Yes. As well as paying attention to factors like song mood, tempo, etc. Like how Spotify radio works. Playing songs that fit better in a sequence together rather than a true shuffle. So then it purposefully doesn't play songs like Harry Styles next to Baby Shark. At least that's what I think. But we must also remember that humans kinda suck at understanding probability because true random would also allow for clusters of artists to be together and truly random shufflings that don't fit the progression of the mood so people didn't really perceive it to be random. For example, if you spent a week flipping a coin heads or tails to decide what you're going to eat for lunch every day that week, a hot dog with relish or microwaved palak paneer from Trader Joe's, there is an equal amount of chance that you could get heads like five out of the seven days of that week. But there is a 100% chance that I'm getting heads every day of the week from your mom. So flipping heads five out of the seven oh, days that yeah. week is still just as random as getting an even amount of heads and tails oh, throughout the yeah. week. Because true random doesn't have memory of the day before, each flip is an equal part chance 50-50. This is otherwise known as gambler's fallacy. Don't tell XQC though. So. And now, with the algorithm specifically curated to feel more random, we still don't really believe that it feels random enough. So what the heck are we supposed to do about it? Spotify 
size shuffle is not truly random, and we probably don't want it to be truly random, but the algorithm also sucks and people don't like it either. So what's the happy medium? Well, some people have suggested to just add an alternative shuffling option as true random if they really want their playlist to be shuffled truly randomly. And I can get behind that, but also sometimes the answer is just even simpler. Let me bestow upon you some advice that I carry around in real life. I carry it around in my brain. Sometimes when you're faced with an issue that's gone through so much trial and error and things appear to be a mess now, like every Premiere Pro project that always seems to crash. And now you have 20 projects named Fuck. Dot Premiere Pro. Fuck two. Please work, I'm begging you. Sometimes you just need to take a step back and simplify it. Don't overcomplicate things. Take your messy ass Premiere project, take the essential files you need, and you know work and move it over to a brand new project file. Named something more peaceful, like ah. Dot Premiere Pro project. Okay, sorry, I have to give up that voice. I hope that made sense. We don't need machine learning algorithms to guess what song we want next. Instead of your shuffle putting the same songs first, Spotify could use that true random to pick one random song in the playlist and put that as the first song in the queue. And then Spotify could generate the rest of the queue around that random first song, with other songs in the playlist that naturally gauge the progression and mood and style without paying attention to any other algorithmic factors like popularity or how many times you've listened to Twin Leaf Town over and over again. So keeping the part of the algorithm that spreads out songs from the same artists in a queue, but not going out of the way to make sure songs from the same album don't play near each other and things like that. How this differs from what Spotify is doing now is if you perform a true random shuffle and pick one song to put at the start of the queue and form the rest of the queue around that first song, it would probably eliminate the same songs from playing over and over again in your first 10 songs, and maybe let those buried tracks shine a little more in your playlists. But also, I'm not an engineer, so I could be completely off base, but that's just my opinion from a consumer standpoint. It's the conclusion part of the video. Quiz, how many times did I say the words playlist, algorithm, shuffle, and cue in this video? If you count and comment below with the correct answers, I'll give everyone who subscribes a PS5. That's right, I'm giving away 10 PS5s to everyone who follows me on Instagram and likes this video. Let me know if you found this video interesting and subscribe to help me hit 200k by the end of the year so I can bake another oh, sad mamiya. concoction and oh, answer some personal questions about me on my second channel. Also before I go, thank you so much much for 100,000 plays on Plastic Love and over 100,000 views on the music video. So combined, that's over 200,000. I think I can do that math correctly. And follow me on Instagram. Okay, bye. My patrons are so cool and they are all so nice.